Hello everyone, Chief Meteorologist Brian Hale, the chance for rain all but evaporating from this forecast, which leads me to the next problem, fire weather danger. No serious rain on tap, daily southeast winds 15 to 20 miles an hour at least, daytime temperatures 100 degrees plus, lower humidity, especially upper valley, and plenty of dry grass. It all leads to one thing, fire weather danger. Be careful if you're burning. Wind forecast, well, we're looking at 15 to 20 mile an hour sustained winds in the forecast for Friday, gusting to 25 miles an hour. The tropical snapshot has the focus right in the middle, 96, that's investigation 96L for the National Hurricane Center designation. And this is still expected to move to the northwest at about uh, 10 to 15 miles an hour and has about a 40 to 50 percent chance of becoming something a little bit more significant over the course of the next five days. The spaghetti forecast shows the track forecast solutions from the different computer models, most of which are leaning a little further east, but one still wants to bring it toward West Palm Beach, Florida. And we very well will see it as a tropical depression or even tropical storm over the course of that three to five day period. Futurecast runs the Rio Grande Valley through the end of the week and well into the weekend with basically partly cloudy conditions to mostly clear conditions. Southeast winds 15 to 20. The chance for daily sea breeze showers has pretty much been lifted from the forecast, so we will trudge on with plenty of heat, good gusty breezes, and again, the threat of grass fires and wildfires will be real, certainly by next week. That's a look at your 24-7 forecast.